Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to create this brush for creating hair. And it is very simple. Now we're going to follow the same principle, but to create a different type of hair, kind of like coily hair. So what I'd like you to do is to open a new canvas that will be uh, 4000 by 4000 in sRGB. And if you want to know more about profiles, you can also check the video here to learn more about the color profiles, okay? Now, what I'd like you to do, go to the background and set the background in a darker color. Select, not fully white, but like uh, um, gray, a little bit gray. Open a new brush here. And with that selected, create circles, create one circle, hold, circle, sorry, hold, touch to create a perfect circle, and then you do that again as many times as you want. And let's see how coily this hair is, okay? It's not curly, but coil. Okay, after you have this uh, random circle shapes, let, let's expand it a little bit here. Okay, now we're going to take the background out, then three fingers down, copy all, go to that same brush you had before, go to shape, edit, import, paste. Now, you can see here how it looks like. Let's clear and let's use some color. Now, how to make this? It's already looking like uh, these coil sponges. It already looks like that, but it doesn't look like as messy as some hair, right? So to make it messy, we can increase a bit the spacing between the strokes as you can see this is what happens when you increase the spacing and increase the jitter so now it looks a bit more messy okay the default of the pressure with the pencil is here you can take it up but I, I, I like it this way and for the size I prefer in this case to use the change of size with the jitter. So now when we do that, we notice we need to maybe you know, reduce the spacing to get that coily type of hair. Well, now we have like a basic coily hair and maybe we can improve this brush by creating so um, let's put here blue up oh, sorry i'm not doing that blue here while i'm mixing blue and uh, yellow and also some red here and you will see now why we go to rendering and in rendering you will be able to change the way these colors blend okay if we multi multiply then you can see some green here and some purple as you may do with actual paint. So I like to keep it this way, multiply and maybe some uniform blending. Uniform blending is one of the best for this, I think, but Use whichever you prefer and may, you may create different uh, brushes depending on what you want to do with that brush. So you may have one with uniform glaze and then duplicate that brush and have one with uniform blending. The uniform glaze is brighter, so you can keep that one if you want. Okay, now you can see here some purple and some green and now we have all the colors. Great. You can name your brush whatever you want. I will put here coil hair. 
and select your picture, the name, who made it, sign it, and reset the brush. Done. Now we have our new brush for making and creating hair. Um, what color should we use? Maybe some brown and a new layer. Increase the size. Okay. We can add maybe some brighter color here to add some lighting and then you go. Like this looks so awful. I am adding a new picture after this and you will see it in the edited video of course. I hope you like this tutorial, comment any questions and follow to see the next video about some tips of creating other type of hair in my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!